About 70% of the University of South Carolina's student population lives off campus, whether that be in an apartment complex or a house of their own. However, past and recent events call into question how safe these living centers really are. It was actually in the morning, around 9 a.m. Uh, we were upstairs asleep and we heard a loud crash downstairs that went on for a couple of minutes. So then one of our roommates came downstairs because his dog started growling. And as he came down, uh, a dude ran out the back door and hopped the fence and our TV was gone, our back door was kicked in. Um, so I woke up really confused about five o'clock in the morning and someone was banging on my door, like frantically banging, super loud. I walk out and there's police tape, there's crime scene, there's police everywhere. And I ask them, I'm like, what happened? Um, you know, there's police tape right on my porch. And they're like, oh, someone was shot and killed. In the past month, multiple similar instances have been reported around the Columbia area. One that has students most alarmed was the recent shooting outside of Granby Mills apartment complex. Be advised this next clip contains graphic content. Yo, you just shoot a gun, bro. Hey, chill! Chill, chill, chill! Chill, chill! chill. The guy actually like lives down the hall from us, so it was a little bit uh, like alarming when we heard like there were cops on our floor. Obviously, after it happened, um, and like they're gone from Granby now. I guess you can't really ever prepare for like that happening. Since then, there there's always been like cop cars like in the parking lot, which is definitely like a really like like a good assurance. And the plus, hearing all the gunshots and all that stuff recently, uh, definitely not as safe as I would like to feel. I mean, the one thing they do. Uh, promote the gated community idea, but the gates are always open, so it doesn't really do much. So the question remains, do residents really feel safe? And what more can living centers do to ensure safety? No, not at all. I want to move really bad. Um, I don't feel safe here whatsoever. River's Edge says they have two contracts with two different security systems, but I never see them. And there's no cameras anywhere here. Our parking lot, like the lights are burnt out. I just know with the amount of rent that I'm paying, they can afford to put cameras in the parking lot. Although it may be impossible to ensure complete safety living off campus, some students prefer to take extra security precautions by using at-home security systems such as ring doorbells. I clicked on the ring doorbell and I could hear the audio and see who was there. And it was a man who was drunk trying to get into our house. As we were trying to figure out if we should call the police or if he would just leave by himself. He just left by himself, thankfully. It was comforting knowing that I could see he was outside before I had opened the door because I, I don't know what would have happened if the man had tried to force himself inside of our house. What is to be done about the violence in off-campus living centers still remains unanswered, but residents certainly don't feel at ease as of now. For SGTV News 4, I'm Justin Walsh.